another microscope that you're going to be using is called a dissecting microscope or a stereoscopic microscope. There are some differences between the binocular compound light microscope and this dissecting microscope. It still has two oculars, so um, it is binocular, and you can change the distance between the oculars by rotating them. The specimen is not mounted on a slide, and when you look through the eyepieces, the specimen is going to be 3D instead of flat. The specimen is also going to be as you would see it with your eye. It is not going to be inverted. The dissecting microscope has a much smaller range of magnification. The oculars are again 10x and then we can turn and change the magnification down here to either be 1x and if I rotate it, it will then become 3x. So I can either magnify 10 times or 30 times. To focus, I only have one set of adjustment knobs located on either side here. This allows me to move up and down and focus on my specimen. This microscope also has two light sources. I can have light come from the bottom, underneath my specimen, or light come from the top, or both. Here's my top light. And my bottom light. I have a light switch, a main light switch on this side, which will turn everything off. Or I can turn them both on. It depends on how you want to view your specimen.